challenging question here about why the hierarchy of the Christian churches are afraid of stating clearly their own Christian faith. Are the leaders of the churches too agnostic or even atheistic as compared to the ordinary person who does believe, who accepts miracles, who accepts the hope of heaven? Has the hierarchy given way to a pick and mix mentality? Well, I don't think so, but then I would say that, wouldn't I? I don't think so. I think that the hierarchy, who, whoever they are, but I presume it includes bishops and archbishops, the hierarchy make a solemn statement, as do other clergy, when they're admitted to office, that they accept the Catholic faith, the truth delivered to the Church of England, which we have to try and express afresh in every generation. That's the foundation of who we are and what we do. And it's what we seek to do as pastors and as leaders in the church whenever we preside at worship. We seek in that event of worship to bring the threefold God alive, or that's a blasphemous statement, to bring the life of the threefold God into the life that is here among us. So I would be very sorry if I thought the hierarchy or anybody else were somehow reluctant to be clear about the life-changing, inexhaustible depth of the God who is made known to us in Jesus Christ as Father, Son, and Spirit. Reluctant to think that the hierarchy or anyone else lived in a world where the shock and surprise of miracle was held to be impossible. I think it's true that, as, as is hinted in the question, reports that you sometimes come across in the media about what bishops think or say don't um, paint a very encouraging picture, though I guess that even that is looking back to one or two celebrity cases of bishops saying controversial things in public. So I don't think that we've got quite such a crisis with the hierarchy as might be suggested. The pick and mix phrase is, yes, I mean, that's a challenge. I think an attitude to Christian doctrine which simply says, well, I like this bit and I don't like that bit, isn't very satisfactory because I believe the doctrine of the creed hangs together. If you understand one bit of it, you know, the rest makes sense. And I think, sadly, one of the things we have lost sight of overall in the church is the feeling for the big picture, whether it's in reading the Bible or in our approach to doctrine. We get held up on this or that detail, and we don't see how it hangs together. I would be very happy to think that the church was more committed to teaching the wholeness of that picture, the creedal picture, and how it hangs together. 